In Varanasi, Narendra Modi today created a festival-like atmosphere. Even as 170 North constituencies were voting in a repeat of what the BJP had done on the first day, on the first day of polling, when it released its manifesto, Narendra Modi took out a road show for his nomination. That road show was only for three kilometers, and he took something over three and a half hours to complete that stretch. And after the road show, the question being asked is whether this was Narendra Modi's uh, show of strength in Varanasi or Varanasi's show of strength for Narendra Modi. It was an ocean of unprecedented turnout for a nomination. The convoy of Narendra Modi, dressed in peace white, amidst a sea of saffron, took three and a half hours to cover just three odd kilometers. First time since the frenzy of Ram Janubhumi movement, the BJP managed a public response that overwhelmed the party and its prime ministerial candidate. Voters in 117 seats were voting while Modi's BJP turned the nomination into an over three hour long Kodak moment. Workers mobilized crowds since morning, women dressed in saffron, ceremonial coconuts and mango leaves in their hands lined the roads for a welcome, some dressed as Hindu gods. Each yard of his roadshow was shard with flowers. There was an overdose of political symbolism. I felt motivated is the creation of the media. I don't think, I think the country as a whole is ever disrupted by any Modi way. He paid floral tributes to Varanasi's pride, Dr. Madan Mohan Malviya, inside his creation, the BHU. Next was a statue of Sadar Patel, whose legacy Modi is eyeing. Then he stood dwarfed by the statue of icon of universal peace, Vivekanand. And last, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, followed by Dalit voters. His four nomination proposals symbolize Varanasi's ethos. The ex-judge grandson of Madan Mohan Malviya, the noted singer of Banarasi Gharana, Chanulal Mishra, a typical Banarasi boatman and a weaver. The turnout underlines the mammoth year-long campaign the RSS and its affiliates have mounted at the grassroots level and how Modi has capitalized on the situation. This kind of electrifying response is not confined to Kada. It is the people energy. The BJP denied that the contest is now all about Narendra Modi not the party. UPA ki 10 saal ka kusasan, Congress ka 50-60 saal ka kusasan, janta ka akros, aur humare Bharati Janta Party ke sambandh, jo bhi sangtha the, unki mehnat aur Narendra Bhai Modi ki janta mein viswas, ek sasakt neta ke roop mein janta ne swikar kiya, iska bhi ek parinam tha. Modi's rivals have polarized the contest to Modi versus the rest, but failed to unite. The SP, BSP and the Congress vying for secular credentials have left the door open for a division of anti-Modi votes. His roadshow will now polarize the 3.5 lakh minority votes, eyeing that the Congress and the Samajwadi party responded by washing Madan Mohan Malviya's statue in BHU, garlanded by Modi in the morning. Modi left Varanasi after promising good times to the people. His rivals hurled objections. अब तक यूपी में मोदी की लहर थी, भाजपा की लहर थी, ये लहर मोदी जी के नामांकन करने के साथ ही सुनामी में परिवर्तित हुई है और इस लहर के कारण सपा, बसपा, कांग्रेस तीनों का सफाया उत्तर प्रदेश में निश्चित है। अमित शाह has said something which is ominous. He is whether managing or mismanaging time will tell, but tsunami. This is an ominous statement. Tsunami brings devastation, death, destruction and grief. Bharatiya Janata Party ke Pradhan Mantri ke umidwar ek dharam vishesh ka sahara le kar ke apne road show ko unho ne jis tarikhe se kiya hai, wo ninni hai aur uske upar election commission ko action lena chahiye, ye hum ne election commission se kaha. Rahul ji, on that day, on 12th April, didn't choose to garland the garland the portages of Hindu leaders or people who are associated with a particular region, particular religion. Till a few months ago, his rivals called him 
a Gujarat phenomena. To prove his pan-India image, Narendra Modi chose the toughest state in the heart of UP's caste cauldron. The Banasi response was indeed heartwarming. But for his Delhi battle, Narendra Modi needs many more responses such as this. And Modi must be ruining the fact that there is no second Banaras on earth. In Varanasi with Rajesh Gupta, Rahul Shivasta for NDTV.